my name is Harper Patsko. I'm a sophomore double major in history and journalism, and I play softball. I chose journalism because I've always been interested in the media. Of all my friends in high school, I was the person who knew about what's going on in the news and been interested. Um, and I chose history as well because as a journalism major, I always thought that in order to write about the future, you need to know about the past. So I thought history would be the perfect thing to do that with. My favorite thing about softball has to be the team atmosphere and the uh, need for everyone to be on the same page and working together in order for it to be a success and for us to win. I think it's a very important aspect of life just to be able to work with other people and this sport is something that you need to be able to work with people and you need to be smart as well. So I think that's my favorite part of it. For me the transition was a lot bigger than a lot of people here actually experience. For me it was very important to make sure I kept busy so that's why I'm so focused on my academics. So for the first semester of my freshman year, it was a little bit hard to adjust, but as soon as I got into season and kept, was busy all the time and was with these people I became friends with and very close with, it was very good for me to be able to have something to do at all times instead of just sitting in my room wishing to be home. I really look forward to the season team working as a whole and really being able to come together and be the best we can be. Um, hopefully we'll get the NJAC championship this year, but we have to work really hard to get to that point. We still have a lot of work to do. Um, but I really look forward to just becoming a team and all of us getting 1% better every day. So the 1% better means that at every single practice we have and every single thing that we do, we have to get 1% better, which means that you don't have to do everything perfect the first time, but you have to be able to say after practice, did I get 1% better today? And did the team as a whole get 1% better? So we all have to get better and keep working to our goal to reach our peak to be able to play at our best performance when we need it. I chose Ramapo because of my major. I really like the school and the environment around it, especially how close it was to New York City and the opportunities they'll have there. But at the same time, I did look here with softball, knowing the coach and having heard about her from other people. It was a mix of both. So I would say it had to do with academics mostly, but softball did help. As an infielder, I really enjoy I mean, I've always loved taking ground balls. It's always been one of my favorite things to do, but as an infielder, it's very important that you communicate and you have to be at the center of attention. If you mess up, obviously you have the outfield behind you, but it's very important for you to get the ball and make sure that you're getting it in and just being back, uh, having the pitchers back at all times. What I want to do in my future career is I want to be a media researcher, which means that I want to be behind the scenes of news and documentaries eventually, uh, double checking the facts and making sure that everything's right, and eventually going to writing for it. It's just been something I've always been interested in and I think it would be a very uh, lucrative career for me to be able to go in and use my skills to help these people uh, do what they need to do with the news. So a typical practice for us usually starts about a half hour before we get to practice and we have to be there by uh, 15 minutes before we start. In that 15 minutes we have to set up and just get ready to be mentally focused and be there. While we're doing that, um, our coach is usually standing there watching us to make sure that we're focused and then she'll call us over and usually give us a rundown of what the day is going to be. Right after that we go into our dynamic warm-up, which is usually just our stretching routines. We do a bunch of active um, a nervous system activation, which gets us going. And then after that, we go into our throwing progressions, which is just how we throw. It's how we get our arms loose and ready to go. And then after that, if we have time, we do our fielding regular routines. It's just getting our motions down and making sure that we know what we're doing while we're fielding the ball. Infielders have something different than what the outfield does. Then right after that, we go into whatever we're doing in practice that day. If it's a batting practice, we have the cages down and we'll do front toss and we're working on something specific, what kind of pitch we need to hit. Um, and within that we also have bunting routines, we do mojos, which are these little softballs that we hit sometimes. And whatever you need to work on to get better. If it's a fielding practice, we're usually working on situations and making sure we're just knowing what we're doing when the ball's hit to you. So I'm someone who is very academically focused and I'm always someone who is very strict on what I do with my academics. I, I'm very careful about my grades. So in order to balance softball and academics, as a college student, it's very tricky and it's very time consuming, but in the end it really pays off because you realize you have no time to really just sit around and watch the world go by. You really have to focus and make sure what you're doing is right. And when I'm mentally prepared to play a game, whatever it is, whether I'm playing in the field or at bat, I'm always someone who's very focused. So I'm always just thinking about softball and I'm ready to go. Uh, I always have these words in my head that I say to myself to make sure that I'm ready. Our coach is very big on making sure that we do that. 
So for me, it's just when I'm up the bat, I'm thinking I have to hit the ball, I have to crush it, I have to get it onto the field. And when I'm fielding, I have to think if the ball is hit to me, I have to know where I'm going with it and what I'm doing with it right away. So I know I'm very focused on athletics in my academics, but at the same time, I do know how to like have a little bit of fun socially. Um, over this past winter break, I was able to have the opportunity to go to Costa Rica on the school's alternative winter break. So it was very fun to be able to go abroad and work with these amazing people down in Costa Rica. Uh, I worked on a McCall reservation, which meant I got to work with animals and just have this fun time with these people who I never known before, but I'm now close with as well. So it's very interesting to be able to have these opportunities that Rainbow Poe allows me to have.